In today's video, we are going to be attempting to supplement on this Dollar Tree hair tie. If you want to see how it turned out, just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting on a budget. I do cricket, supplementation, and now sewing videos. So if any of those things interest you, please consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family, and let's jump into this video. Heat tape dispenser, it comes in handy. These are always linked down below. And always have some heat gloves when you're working with sublimation because it is really hot. You're also going to need a lint roller to take off the lint off of your hair tie. So I'm just gonna start off by taking off this plastic, I mean this cardboard that's on it. Then I'm just going to lint roll to make sure I have no lint on it because if you're new to sublimation, if you have lint on it, it's gonna turn blue. The lint will turn blue with the heat and you don't want that. So I'm just doing one side. You can do both sides if you want. Again, you can do like a name or you can do like, I don't know, floral design or some characters or something. Just know that you're, I mean, you can probably try to supplement up here, but there is elastic here. So it'll probably make it a little bit harder unless you wanted to just undo it and then re-sew it all together. Um, so I'm just gonna have my butcher paper that I'm gonna put underneath just so that I can just do it all in one swoop. And I'm gonna take my design and I'm going to cut it. And I'm just cutting as close as I can to the design. Okay, so I'm gonna flip over my design making sure that I kind of have it where I want it. I could have made my design bigger, but I didn't just because I'm experimenting. And honestly, I probably forgot to make it bigger. So I'm just gonna have my words coming down this way. And I'm just gonna tape it down on each side of it. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side, making sure that my words are not upside down. Make sure your design is mirrored when you print these. Just like that. And now we're gonna move to our heat press. We're gonna put our butcher paper on top and we're gonna move to our heat press so that we can press this. When you press it, you're probably going to want this bulky part to hang off your heat press. You're not gonna want that in there cause it's gonna mess with your pressure and you're not gonna be able to press these correctly. Oh, I thought I was recording, but I am going to put my design down, make sure the paper is facing up. I pinned the little flaps this way so that they don't get in the way. I put my butcher paper on top and I'm gonna press at 385 degrees for 60 seconds making sure I have good pressure. You wanna make sure this bulky part again is not in there because you're not gonna get good pressure with it. It's just gonna make everything uneven and you're not gonna be able to press on the part you need to press correctly. Okay, so I'm gonna take my, put your paper off and then I'm gonna take my gloves and I'm gonna just press on it and lift it up. Might need to just in one quick swoop. Oop, there you go. So again, this is why you want butcher paper underneath because you can see the ink is right there on the parts where the design over kind of went over the fabric, so you always wanna make sure you have butcher paper underneath to protect your silicone mat. So I think it turned out really, really good. Again, you can personalize it, put like someone's name on it, pun, I don't know, someone's team on it, like if they're cheerleaders, or you can put 
just like floral patterns and stuff on it again you would only be able to do the bottom tails not the whole thing unless you get super creative so let me know down below what things at dollar tree you love to supplement on thank you so much for watching this video make sure to stay tuned for my videos next week where i will be doing supplementation and sewing also make sure to check out my class on creative fabrica i'll have it linked down below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys